Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Cunningham and this is my series on AP Computer Science Principles. Now today, instead of diving right into the curriculum, what we're going to do is we're going to really quick explore Khan Academy, which is the platform I'm going to be using to make these videos. So let's go ahead and jump over to Khan Academy right now and I'll show you what I mean. Now, as you can see, websites right up here, you are looking for KhanAcademy.org or you can just put Khan Academy into Google. As you can see, I am in the Computer Science Principles section. You can find that by going up to this Courses tab in the upper left. Click on that, and then in the center, down at the bottom, there is the AP or College Computer Science Principles. So that's what we're clicking on. And when you jump in, the first thing you should notice is that this topic, this um, course, is broken up into units. We've got a unit on digital information, we've got a unit on the internet, and on programming, algorithms, and all the way down. Each unit has a certain number of what's called mastery points available. In digital information, there are 900 ma mastery points available, and I have 880 of them. I hope that makes sense. So when I click on that, I can see this percentage that shows that I am 98% mastered in digital information. This number here is the total number of available points. So if I was to add up all of the points for all of these units here, it would add up to 6,300. I have 1,730 of them, which gives me 27% progress. The ultimate goal, both for me and for you, is to get that number to 100% before the end of the school year. Now, how we get that number to 100% is actually pretty simple. I wouldn't call it easy, but it's definitely simple. We're going to start at the very top. We're going to jump into this digital information unit. And once we're in here, we are just going to follow it top to bottom. So in this very, very first topic, bits and bytes, the first thing I want you to notice is that if you hover over any of these codes, you get what we're learning, essentially. These are called standards, and if you hover over them, it will tell you what it is that you're supposed to be learning from this unit. Now, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit further here. I want you to see that there are th two different symbols here over on the left. This symbol that looks like a little piece of paper, that means that is an article that you can read, you can take notes on it, you can even try to print it out, although I've had some difficulties printing them out myself. But essentially, it means that you don't have to worry about keeping up with a video. You can just read it, copy it, take notes, that sort of thing. And then secondly, we've got these triangles here, which are videos. So I click on that, and we've got a video playing. The videos are super informative. They are very, very helpful. I very strongly recommend you watch both these videos and my videos before you attempt the problems. Or if you do start to attempt the problems and you begin to struggle, make sure you know that those videos are there for you as well as mine. Now on the right here, we have practice. And this is where the actual homework comes in. If I click on one of these, it gets me to a, in this case, multiple choice question. I go through it, I get a percentage. I can take it again as many times as I want. If I get a problem wrong, it's not a big deal. It can be taken again. This is what, in my class, the homework is going to look like, at least some of the homework. Now, when you do that, you should see there's this little symbol over here, which is like a, a couple of rectangles and a crown. By practicing this, if you get all of them right, you will get this filled up to about the two-thirds mark, but the crown will not fill up. And then we'll go down to bytes, we'll go down to binary numbers, we'll take the quiz, and down and down and down. At the very end, when we get to the bottom of the page, there is a unit test we can take. This unit test is the only way to fill this last bit on these symbols. And in fact, I've got at least one, there it is. I've got one right here, which isn't quite filled, which is why I have 98% instead of 100%. The only way to get that crown filled is to take the unit test at the very bottom. 
So what I'll be doing on this video is at the end of a unit, I will take the unit test. And if it's not quite enough to get me to 100%, I will take it again until I get to 100% in this topic. Then I will back out into the rest of the course and move on to the next one. The next one is the internet. There's 1,100 mastery points available and continue that way. By the end of the school year, you should be all the way at the bottom, which includes a unit on specifically preparing for and studying for the AP exam. I know it sucks that you have to spend the entire school year focused on one singular exam, but this is college credit after all. So we're gonna make sure that you are as ready for that test as you can possibly be. So that's Khan Academy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll continue to do so. My students, go ahead and get started on the first couple of Khan Academy assignments. And uh, everyone else, have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.